I should have knew that I was in for something special with this one. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your main man, Dame Drops. We haven't did this one in a minute. It's time for us to get back to these worst reviewed restaurants just to see if they have a chance to dance, see if, they, if they've made any changes since people have been beating them upside the head. Now, I want to slide over to this pizza spot because they already got two out of five stars, two and a half to be exact. Let's read some of the reviews. Hello, I ordered food tonight. The order had instructions not to put cheese on the grinder as I am allergic. I ordered a garden salad with grilled chicken on top. There is no mention of cheese in or on the salad. I received my order and there was hobs of cheese all over the grinder and salad. So I called and there was a seriously mad man answering the phone. I tried to explain about the salad. I cannot eat. He said that's how they make it and it's not his fault. Call DoorDash. Yelling and talking loudly over me where I could not express that while I'm being yelled at, the grinder I've opened also has cheese on it. So he hangs up on me. I called back. Guy yelled at again. Call DoorDash, he says. Call your social media. He also said he was the manager. Then I called back yet again. He is still talking, yelling over me. He says he's the owner now. And then he hung up yet again. I called back a few more times till someone picked up. And this time, finally, he let me speak. This is and was outrageous behavior. So sadly, no dinner for me and my mom tonight. It's too late to order anywhere else now. No concessions to come back to Nick's Nada. I am inclined to post this email on Yelp, Google Business Reviews. I see your business has a sad rating of three stars. Well, now it's two and a half. <laughs> it certainly won't help your business for future and present customers to read this email. I order every other week when I come to Hartford to the Infusion Center. Never have had a problem. This is the worst possible outcome on a to-go order I have ever experienced. Very unhappy customer. And then she left her name. That's horrible. You got to be careful when individuals have allergic reactions to certain type of foods out there. Pay attention to what it is that they're actually requesting and make sure you fulfill the requests. Nick, saying a good look. I only have time for about one more Yelp review and then we're going to slide to the spot and see what's really happening. Meatballs are good. Curly fries are, I don't know what that, what that says, oversacked maybe oversaturated mm -hmm. and coated with a disgusting spice mixture. As well, they use the wrong cheese. A jalapeno queso would be good if the curly fries were not already made disgusting by the spice coating. The pizza was as anemic as possible. It did not in any way make of for the acid which it had produced. The fried seafood is all the disgusting that fried seafood could possibly be. Heavy, greasy, free radical filled awful old oil, it practically eradicates any taste from the seafood. Ham sandwich and bacon was okay. Salads are okay. Hmm. Doesn't sound good. This is a pizza spot, ladies and gentlemen, so we are going in for pizza. We're trying to see what that pizza game is all about. Sit back, relax, get comfortable. She made me a dame drops, and I think you know what happens next. Uh, let's just say for Nick's Pizza, when I seen what I saw sitting on the window piece to our right, my man got a jammy in his hand. Yo, you already know your pizza establishment is a little more gangster than most when you have that picture on the outside of your window. I don't even know if I want to eat here, but we fit to do this review, family. Oh, we fit to do this. Your Nick's Pizza is tight inside there, too. Look at, look at all them. Yo, is that mad Snapple bottles? It's like a delivery of sodas and juices just came in, and they just stacked it up right there. Du, 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 du. Mm, 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 mm. All right, family, so we slid over to Nick's Pizza. I grabbed myself up a small meat lovers along with a calzone. Now, like I said, you already seen that it was a little etch and sketch outside. Um, I think as far as the professionalism when it comes to any given food establishment out there, you don't necessarily want to have a big picture with somebody holding a jammy in their hand. It, it doesn't give off a good look at the end of the day, to be honest with you. So first box from Nick's Pizza up over here. Got the tape on it because they knew I had to slide up out of there with that thing. And to be honest with you, I wasn't trying to stay up over there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what kind of unsavory characters would have been pulling up. You're already, you're already out there just uh, advertising the wrong look for yourself. Okay, bam, let's take a look. Got a little knife and fork piece over here. Get ourselves a little decent ghetto cut with uh, the plastic knife, knife and fork over here. Come on, come with it, come with it. 
Don't even act like that. Don't even act like that. Okay. Nice little decent cut going on. As long as they did the mozzarella the right way, we should get... Oh. Yeah, family. What are y'all thinking? An official calzone? Mm. How we doing it? How we doing it? Come on, family. How we doing it? That's what good mozz does, baby. It gives you a nice little break right there. Look at that thing. All right. But having this type of cheesy break makes no difference if it doesn't taste good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Before I bring it down, I definitely want to dip it into the marinara sauce, too. Real liquidy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, give me a second, family. I need to wash that down. Uh, all right. um, Nick, I'm sorry. All you happen to have here is heated up grease connected to cheese. Just go ahead and slide all over the place because you're an ice skating ring. There's so much grease going on with the calzone that you can't, even if I see, I, I thought I saw garlic about here. I got no garlic flavor whatsoever. I did see the cheesy pull. I received a nice cheese pull. Fresh mozz. You can still taste the cheese. You won't taste grease the way you do with this particular calzone. It's just like, it's almost as if you guys had the, the grease fryer going. You dunked the dough and the cheese into the grease fryer, let it sit, walked away, forgot about it, had a whole entire conversation. This was not it. Oh, goodness. Hey. We have officially left. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm over here doing a food review real quick. Oh, what are you guys doing for you? Yeah, I went to Nick's Pizza. I'm doing it right now, though. Oh, okay. Did you need to pick up dinner, or are we all set? No, no, we can pick up dinner, because this thing is horrible. Okay, did you want me to go to the grocery store, or you want me to order something from, like, Max's? Um, I don't even want any more pizza. You can go to the grocery store. I thought you were going to go to Berlin Stop Shop for the chicken over there? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you still want it. No, I still do. This thing right here, this okay. is a grease. It's already messing up my stomach. Well, all right, go handle that. All right. All right, love you. All right. Love you. And that's just me keeping it trill with the wifey, man, because, ouch. I don't know. Is this what the community loves? Because this is right out here in New Britain. I live in New Britain, family. Like, is this what the community keeps coming back for over there in Nick's Pizza? We're missing out. I don't, are these... Cheap mozzarella sticks for the reason that I'm not really getting that mozzarella flavoring. Because fresh mozzarella with pizza at a true Italian pizzeria is much different than this. I'm sorry. This is this is not it. This is not it. Let's keep this thing moving. Because maybe their actual pizza, maybe Nick's pizza itself is better than the calzone, right? You know, I, I can see how you could mess up a calzone. If you, if you don't cook them like that, you know, if, if calzones aren't what you are known for, this happens to be a meat lover's pie, y'all. Sausage, bacon, pepperoni, smells decent. Let me get right into it. Soft crust butt. Okay. I got a small... See what it do. <laughs> grand opening, grand closing. No, nope, 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 nope. Sauce is nasty. Meat was mush, mush. Meat was mush, but. The meat and the meat game was straight mush, but like there was no definitive bite, and the sauce was bad, 
and I know you're using the same cheese that you use for your calzone over there at Nick's Pizza. There's nothing good that I could say about either of the two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I definitely got to take this one to Yelp, break this one all the way down, family. I never, I never really thought that you could destroy pizza until I had Nick's Pizza. I never really thought pizza could be bad, go bad, have a bad attitude, come out bad out the oven, just be disrespecting everybody that's trying to invite that pizza into the, the, the mouthpiece. Like this right here is just, my lips are extra greasy. My soul is slippery right now. Like I feel my soul sliding away from my body, like separating like oil and water. You know what I'm saying? Like it just don't mix. That's how I felt even trying to bite into this pizza. It just don't mix. It does not work. This pizza and the calzone was horrible and bad and, and sad. Let's take it to yo. Nick, why is your pizza and calzone options horrible? Your service itself is questionable and I would just chalk that up to whomever was behind the counter having a long day. Understandably, I had a 20 minute wait for what I was hoping to be a very tasty experience, but from the time I had opened my box until my first bite of disappointment, it all went downhill in a very fast and tragic manner. We will start with your mozzarella calzone. Bland at best, but what it did have was plenty of grease. It seemed more grease than human hair in the 80s. I thought that I was in for the bite of my life when I broke it apart and seen that good old cheese pull, but the only pull was my leg, for I was tricked. The first and last bite was like getting punched in the mouth with a fistful of grease, and the way it disconnected my soul was horrendous. Your calzone had the audacity to look good, but failed to deliver any resemblance of what a good calzone is truly known for. And I really wanted your company to excel, even after reading the poor reviews, but let us not stop there. No, this verbal assault must continue onwards. What in the I just got punked was your meat lover's pizza? Who loves it at your location? It was mushy meat. Leftover from 20 parties ago meat, softer than baby sh meat, forgotten potted meat, meat no more meat, meatless vegan option meat, don't meet me here meat, meat gone wrong and got lost along the way meat. My first bite of this tasteless meat lovers was much like chewing on thoughts of a pizza. I should have known for the crust was begging for mercy when I went to pick up the slice. It was too soft. What kind of oven cooks up crust softer than the dough when you guys pulled it out to create the pizza? I took a big bite too, and something was not quite right with the sauce. Was it just liquid red dye mixed with a watered down tomato paste from the local hood spot? Be upfront with the people for it lacked flavor, and from the calzone, I should have known the mozzarella was nothing more than some throwback no frills mozzarella from the dollar store that was probably expired. Your meat lover's pizza had something that looked like pepperoni, but was probably a piece of paper, colored in to look like pepperoni, and cut out last minute to be tossed on the pizza for aesthetics. I should bring the boxes back and just throw it all away in your trash. The two liter of crushed pineapple was good though. Not too sure why your window advertisement is that of a man holding a weapon, but if this is how you'd like to represent your business to the public, I expect the downgrade in stars to continue falling. I always root for the underdog when I see low stars on a Yelp review. Sometimes I figure the individuals in Yelp are just having a bad day or had a bad experience with customer service before they never really talk about the food. These people were actually talking about the food, so I was kind of nervous going in, but I was like, hey, listen, these reviews are from last year. Maybe the owners read them, the management team read them, and they're like, okay, let's go ahead and make changes. That's what I expect of a lot of these restaurants that I go to, for them to read these reviews and make the changes. Obviously here at Nick's Pizza, they don't care. I don't even know if they even read these reviews, but I can tell you one thing, the pizza is still bad. It's your main man, Dame Drops. Stay tuned for more of the worst reviewed restaurants right here in my state. Keep it crispy. Yeah. <laughs>